Hey everyone, uh, thanks for tuning into another video on Air Checker. Um, today we're going to be going over a T238 MOSFET. They call it the uh, ABDTU. Um, it's basically like a MOSFET built into the trigger switch. And um, I had already taken it out of the box because I really wasn't sure on how I was going to do like a review slash installation on this on this piece. Um, so when I took it out and started inspecting it, um, I wasn't really sure on, you know, what kind of wiring I needed and, you know, how the wiring was going to be laid out essentially. Um, so I referenced, uh, T238's website and I'm going to switch over to it over here in a minute. And this is the wiring, uh, diagram they have here. Now, looking at the wiring diagram, I realized that this unit is kind of for a gel ball gun, uh, just because the gel ball gun uh, has the two uh, contacts um, on the underside of the gearbox where the magazine would um, basically be inserted into. Um, so I followed the general circuit diagram. Um, I didn't want to do the preloading function. I'm assuming that's pre-cocking, uh, just because you it looks like you need some type of like uh, electrical component in line with the uh, ground wire here and you need some sort of uh, button to I'm assuming preload the piston um, so you're essentially uh, toggle switching um, pre-cocking here and you know I just didn't want to deal with that so I went with a simple installation here um, I basically followed the diagram except for uh, the wiring connections that go to the two contacts on the gearbox. So basically what I did was I got a negative or I got a, a negative wire and I ran it to the top of the MOSFET right here. It says M negative, which is going to be motor negative connection. I don't know if I can get a good shot on there. So there's going to be two little pads on this circuit board on the bottom right here. There's going to be M negative and V negative. M negative, I'm assuming is going to be motor negative terminal. So that's going to be going to the uh, negative terminal on the motor. And then V negative, I'm assuming is negative voltage. So it's going to be going to the uh, negative voltage of the battery. Now, I was confused at first on the positive. So I took some inspiration from the VFC uh, stock trigger and wired a small signal wire it's kind of hard to see. You can do a small signal wire that goes and solders in conjunction with the banana connectors. Now they're banana connectors because it's a front wired gun. So I incorporated the small signal wire with the uh, positive battery wire into a one unit uh, banana connector and then that gets connected to the battery. But this other uh, actual uh, battery wire does not solder on to the trigger board itself it just goes straight to the motor so when you're pulling the trigger you're basically going to be sending a signal to you're going to tell the mosfet to release some voltage from the battery and then it's going to go to the motor and that's going to complete the circuit um so that's how i wired it i did test it it, it is functional um i'm going to slap it in the gun and uh we'll do some voltage test voltage testing uh, just to show that it, it does work like this. All right, so here we got the gearbox laid out. I installed the MOSFET and I uh, got the wiring all situated, connected the motor. Um, I got my multimeter with alligator clips hooked up to the uh, motor terminals to uh, show off the voltage uh, traveling through the system. I'm going to be using a Matrix 1200 milliamp 11.1 um, 20C. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. Plugged in, got our, got to hold our motor down, or I'll hold it up so you can see that it's firing. And I'll pull the trigger. So it's clearly working. Um, just wanted to show that the the previously shown uh, wiring does work, and you do get the. Um, active braking feature on the motor still. Um, when you pull the trigger and you release it, you can immediately feel the 
uh, polarity reverse and the motor immediately stops firing. It doesn't have that continual um, motor spin uh, like a standard trigger switch would. Um, and we're getting about 8 volts, a little bit over 8 volts. And that's just the system uh, with you know the motor free firing. There's no load under it. So you might get a higher uh, voltage reading if you're able to test it um, with the motor actually pulling the spring back. Um, but yeah, this is just a little overview of uh, the installation of this MOSFET and how the wiring is. I know that there's like no information on this uh, MOSFET online, so I thought I'd uh, make a little video in, uh, showing, you know, the wiring and everything. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe. I'm definitely going to be covering uh, more MOSFETs in the future. MOSFETs are definitely like an unknown market for a lot of people. Um, especially the little odds and ends ones, not the, you know, mainstream uh, optical sensor MOSFETs. Um, some of the more cheaper options that, uh, you know, end users might be more question more might have more questions about. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe and see you on the next one.